Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another rant video. This is going to be a more Karen type of rant, as you should, I should say, from what we're looking at here. Um, this is going to be about the vegan Karens, uh, and this girl happens to be vegan booty. She apparently is related to the vegan teacher and is, happens to be the daughter of the vegan teacher. Um, so this girl has been causing a lot of scenes throughout uh, public establishments. Uh, protesting and being a vegan activist that she already is having an only 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 fans um, on top of that she's banned from the pubs throughout Western Australia so um, clearly she's been making a name of herself so and um, being an imbecile and doing things that Karen's normally do when they're on public is annoy and disturb the peace so I, I think I recall one view. Um, uh, look at the right. If you see the picture on the right, I remember I do recall she did wear that at a chicken sandwich restaurant. Um, what happened is that uh, like she was covered. It was she was using fake blood. Obviously, it was ketchup. Um, or, so basically, vandalizing the 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 the, the restaurant. And taking out on random people or telling them oh you guys should not be eating ch meat and this is the funny part is that she's literally she literally has she literally brings product cow product when clear when literally the place is a chicken sandwich restaurant and showing videos of cows being slaughtered so literally showing cows of videos even while there's kids videos of cows being slaughtered <clears throat> oh, excuse me so um so how does that make any sense? So she's and clearly if you're to be a vegan and why especially like yeah that's up to you but you're taking out all the wrong people who are trying to survive and that's up to you if you wanna if you don't wanna eat meat but like people need to live these days so and then these the, the what vegans don't realize like especially this lady this woman she does not realize she if she really she, if she really wants to take her anger on somebody else she should take it out on the uh, the company instead of going to a random business because there's several out there she gonna by taking it one day, is she making a difference no because they have several out there and it really, it really wouldn't work out for her because she has to go after the corporate she has to go after the people who are responsible who 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 have control of the business rather than the people who work there and yeah and the thing is obviously the way she handled it was not right uh, she obviously got arrested by the police for disorderly conduct and harassing people and forcing them to become uh, vegans all that we all know for sure like can't pressure people to do what they don't want to do so but she she, she does anyways because she thinks it's going to change uh, she's going to change other people's minds and that shows that she, if she's really doing it for justice like why resort to that that to yourself that you're going to be a scumbag and you claim you're, you're looking to like serve justice but here you care more about yourself about other animals you act like a narcissist only care about the well-being animals but this is woman do the vegans not realize like that like the more animals out there because they keep reproducing like more animals are being bred more animals are like um are being populated so yeah we have to if anything we have to lower the population is like they but the thing is they don't realize that we try to keep we try not to endanger the species for those who are who are listening like we don't try to endanger species because we have to make sure they're alive so they can provide for the community and they, they can serve so nature can serve its course as like if you watch a lion king the circle of life everything um uh, is uh, is following the circle of life like the creatures the creatures that die they turn out they when they did when they die when their body their body when their body uh, disintegrates it becomes soil um, it becomes part of the grass like M Mufasa mentioned um, eventually because like or uh, when when our nature takes its nature taking its course really but some people, yeah, I'm, I am, although I am against animal cr cruelty, like, all that, like, I do not, uh, 
condone abusing food. I don't condone abusing animals. Especially, I want to make sure my my food is taken care is taken ca ca carefully. I wanted to make sure it's like I want to take with good care, a hundred percent. Like I don't believe in like torturing animals, slaughtering them the way they should, like watching like those thriller horror movies as if one of them was Micah Myers and his his victim. So. But in this case, she's she's acting like Michael Myers, especially although it may not obviously it's not real blood, but it's literally her display is that like she's trying to make it out as if like the people killing the animals are serial killers, when really it's their job to do what anybody else. If the thing is, so basically she's implying, if you think about, it, she's implying that animals' lives are are more important than human beings. That's how these vegans think. Is that the animals matter more than people? And I said, the, eventually, every living thing is gonna die. Not everything is gonna survive. And for the animals, when nature, like I said, when nature takes its course, like, like obviously we don't want the the world to overpopulate. But people still need to live. We still need people because they're capable of doing something for society, and they have the money. They have the um, the movement. They have the body, obviously. And her purpose is just to be a, make a fool of herself. And make a lot of vegans out there look bad. Because I guarantee you not every vegan is a crazy post-protester like vegan booty over here. So, and like, and I digress that like, this is something not many of the vegans try to do. Because they do try to respect other people's opinions, their rights, because... That's, that's how the law is. The law is meant to protect the people's rights also, like, and so that any, if anything, like, if they really have an issue with people eating meat, they should discuss it or, or try to make, uh, uh, like, um, amends with the government or anything where they're coming from because the, the government is responsible for the law, so. And either way, like, the thing is when the when even the thing is although the when we have to consume it's like some animals contain certain types of like they can like like um, protein they pr provide a lot of nutrients for our body so that our body is like our functions a certain ways out how it should so we have we can live our daily lives more easily that's how it is, that, but these pe people take it way too seriously as if we're just doing it. Like, yeah, there are people who kill animals for the fun of it, but I do it because I feel like that's the only way nature can take its course, and I and I want to live my life as a human, so. And, like, they're in the, in the, on, 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 on top of that, they're not even thinking about carnivores. Would, would the carnivores even think of how vegans feel, really? Like, the animals don't feel. Their brain is not as, like... Hush is, is not is is nowhere close to human IQ. They don't have the same intelligence as human beings. Honestly, so it's really hard to understand how, how animals feel. They do feel, but but what they're thinking right now and like we cannot even communicate. They cannot process the things that we do because we are capable of advanced like technology where we are capable of doing things that are advanced that no other animal has the ability that to do with, with their uh, like upbringing and how they um, how they were created and how they exist because the, they do serve a purpose obviously but like it's just like the farmers they even harassing farmers and stuff from what I heard she was even uh, involved with harassing farmers and trying to get in, and getting in the way of their show of their business because they were doing some type of animal like convention showing off the farm animals and she just said oh like she's oh they're just there to slaughter them and get, get, take away their lives but who's to say animals aren't going to take our lives eventually they will when they keep growing so again this, that's what that's literally how a Karen responds in my in my opinion because they they don't they they are beyond reasoning these people like even when you try to tell them right and wrong they try to flip the switch and make it seem like they're, they're doing it for a good cause, but if anything, it's only for their cause, because what I mean by their cause is that they only think about what is necessary for them to live their life and be themselves, because they think that, because they think only about themselves 
mainly because like it to satisfy their needs and that their needs comes first more than anything and again uh, this is going to continue to happen like but just let you know, let everybody know that not every vegan is like that they are not hypocrites um they do not um take they do not like try to uh like intervene with other people's lives some vegans they are understanding it's just that like the differences with some with a lot of some vegans that i know is that they keep it up upon themselves so then they don't cause any uh bad attention negative attention so that people can live their own life the way they should and that they don't become a hindrance later in the future to the point where they're going to be constantly harassed as well and for those vegans out there that are still protesting be sure to handle it the right way i'm not going to tell you how to live your life but do not take it out on random people and force them to do things that you want to do but you can try to if anything encourage them and be willing to be like a spot on person and just give them advice and be kind towards those around you especially that are human because it seems like you clearly think that animals lives matter more than human beings because without people like you have people saving animals too on top of it like that are trying to protect animals but then you kind of contradict yourselves that thing that every person that is a non-vegan is a, as a, is cruel towards animals but then you'll eventually realize that you're what you're saying is that you regret you'll regret it now because you'll realize those people are doing it to live their lives and then they don't see it your way because for them it's the circle of life that i mentioned so even if and we weren't to eat animals they would still die their bodies would like would, would still die down they will eventually be what they are is that like they don't have a they have a short life expectancy they have a short life expectancy and then they although um, you want them to live but the thing about animals we all know they they, they live a lot less longer than us so it's it's a chance that if they are about to die then it's better that we take that take advantage of that and when they do grow old we consume them and that we become more we become more advanced we become more intelligent we grow out of it we develop as humans and that's how nature takes its course is that people are still are will be willing to change and grow for the better of mankind and again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Expect more content later, including Yu-Gi-Oh! skits, anime edits, possibly sports. Be sure to check your notifications. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.